Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You don't know, big boss there, crazy lot. And uh, today we're going to talk about what surprises us about Japan in 2021. What in your mind, after living here for about four years, is still surprising to you about this wonderful country of Japan? There are so many things that surprise me in Japan. First, I'll start like I'm a black woman, right? First, I'll start with like the openness to diversity. Mm -hmm. It's very crazy in Japan, and I'm I'm working in the modeling industry, right? Mm -hmm. So every time I go for a shooting, for example, and there is like um, how to say makeup artists and all, mm -hmm. they never have my foundation shade. You serious? They Still? never had my foundation shade, and it's like professional people, right? They're mm -hmm. expecting you to come with your own foundation shade because it's like the most difficult find to, uh, for a black woman mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. especially dark skin. And right now, we don't even have any brand that have uh, have like dark shade colors or foundation. It, it, we had NYX, it went, and so now we, we have struggle and we're we ordering all of that. Exactly, so it's very surprising to me that a country that's like a third economy in the world mm -hmm. doesn't have the, the openness for, exactly oh. for the dark skin. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. I just thought that, you know, yes, it was hard to find, but being that, especially after the Olympics, I thought maybe no, 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 things would no, no, have changed. No, 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 you know what's still worse. surprising about Japan, though? Um, it, the, what's the good thing, I will say, is their gaman, their, their ability to persevere through uh, bad things or, 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 or trying times or pain. Mm. They really mm. believe in that, you know. Like, legit believe in, like, yo, you must suffer for the greater good. Mm. And even I've seen like kids are crying and misbehaving and they don't want to enter the classroom and their mom is like, hey, come on shit in it. I'm like, hey, come on, I'm like, hey, come on, I'm like, I'm like, I think it's sort of brave. For yeah, me. Like, it, that is, that is big. Spirit. Yeah, but the flip side is when they do it to cover the dark That's secret true. stuff. So like, for instance, a girl um, was, sorry to go on this bad note, but um, a girl, was molested by her father and her family told her to keep it quiet because they would just it will sully the family name so my mental health no no, no it's not, not yeah, it's not that's another yeah. surprising thing for me in japan mental health they mm. just don't give a shit about it it's like uh as you say they're supposed to be strong and not to show any weakness mm -hmm. and that's why i think this the uh, rate of suicide is quite high because mm -hmm. you're supposed to keep everything to yourself and going to therapy for them, I mean, in any culture is sort of stereotype, even worse in black culture. But in Japan, it's like it's non existent. Mm. It's like, why would you go to a, a, a therapist? Mm. And mental health, I mean, I think even this generation is more into caring, yeah, in that it's true. like searching and all. But in Japan, it's like, uh, what? that's so fancy. What's that? Why? Mm. Why would you care? So in 2021, still, it's very surprising mm. to me. And things like another thing living with their parents. Mm -hmm. Japanese people, it's not like, I mean, in many countries you live with your parents at a certain age. Even in my country, you can be 25 and still live with your parents. But there are many causes, like economic condition, you don't have a job, you couldn't find anything, right? Money-wise, it's mm -hmm. kind of complicated. But in Japan, I think they have a lot of saving. The average Japanese first is, is having a lot of saving. Yeah. It's not like, like they're rich, right? But they have the minimum to be able to go to live by themselves. But you can find someone who's 28 years old still living with his parents. And they give the excuse that uh, they have like uh, old uh, people, mm -hmm. they have to take care of old people so they mm -hmm. prefer staying with them. Mm -hmm. But it's quite weird because as a consequence is then, you, if you're dating a Japanese girl or man, you have hard time having, having intimacy in his place. Mm -hmm. You have to go to your place if you are a foreigner because he's living with his parents. Or you, hand, you end up going to love hotels, that why they, that's why they have so many love hotels in mm -hmm. Japan. Mm -hmm. because. The only place to have intimacy mm -hmm. is love hotel or uh, the person who's not living with the parents, and it's generally uh -huh. not the Japanese person. Interesting. So you had to go back to your place. Oh uh, no, not in my case though. I've never dated a Japanese person who's living with his parents. Hi, <laughs> Oh, that's all. Yeah, so not in my case. I've uh -huh. got, um, you just go to love hotels. Oh yeah, I've been in love hotels, but I'm not like it's not like because we were missing a place to go. It was just oh, let's discover it. Uh, that's fun. What's in there? But like, uh, go. Why? Why was that? <laughs> I'm a grown up. Yeah, of course, of course, you are strong, mm -hmm. independent, sexual, liberal woman. Go, girl. It's not even about sexual. Like sometimes 
I go to a hotel with my female friend just to take photos, just because it's fun. It's not like only about sex and stuff, right? I'll actually post photos of that very soon in my Instagram, it's fun. Anyway, this to say that they live with their parents in, in, like um, when they're too old and it's very inconvenient when you, you date Japanese people. And they have all excuses. Sometimes they even rent apartments just to have like sex with their, their boyfriends and girlfriends. Wow. I usually like rent places like for my YouTube videos, not mm -hmm. like for... Mm -hmm. And sometimes you feel uh, you like you want to... Um, to check out uh, 10 minutes later and you cannot because there's already a couple really waiting, waiting for you, they're waiting, yeah. they're, they're scheduled exactly, their sex, yeah. okay? It's like that a, is OCD. Uh, uh, that's so weird. What it's still uh, gets me, uh, surprises me about Japan, even to this day, are uh, the just the fact that they're so damn patriotic, like they believe in their country and that's, they say, oh, this is the Japanese way yeah. and that's it. And it's a good and bad thing, but yeah. mostly good because, you know, they're really proud of themselves and where they come from, so they know about that. Mm. So I'm still surprised that they're like, yo, we don't care about you. That's we, true. You know, Japan is Japan and yep. this is what we're going to do. That's a surprising for me. I'm trying not to be too negative because I say I'm always negative on my channel. No, no, no there are many posit positive things about Japan. Yeah, but it's not negative. Too. I just speak what my experience has been and it has been good. Mostly, but there's certain things that I have to highlight. So people, when they come to Japan, are not surprised or blindsided. Yeah, by, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's still, it's still, it's better now in terms of surprising that persons uh, don't need. No, shoot, sorry. It, what's surprising about Japan is they still think. Some of them are still not exposed to foreigners. Like even after the whole Olympics and the whole campaign run by NHK, some of them still don't know how to act around foreigners. Like it's like. Yeah, that's true. I've got a Japanese friend. Uh, she was my friend, and she was the she first was? time. She was so you, you're not friends with her anymore. Uh, she traveled, so you, you oh. Know, like, uh, oh, okay. I thought hard. she broke up because she. No, <laughs> she traveled. Okay. First time she saw my Afro, she was so surprised, right? Because she was like, "Oh my God, I've never seen your hair." Like she was always going to work, and you know, mm. I've never seen your hair. I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's that's my hair." She's like, "Oh, can I touch it?" Because she was my friend, I'm like, "Okay, you can touch it." And the moment she put her fingers in my hair, like that was like some deep conditioning that took me so oh, much time. Yeah. She put like, her fingers in my hair and I was like, wait, 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 slow down. She's like, I'm just surprised because it's so soft. I mm. thought it was like hard. a hard thing that I'm like, it's hair, god damn. God it's, it's so weird. Okay, Chris Tucker. Uh, no. <laughs> damn! damn. <laughs> it was so weird to me. I'm like, you're just a, you just and it's the person who traveled the world. She went to Australia. That is it. Like, How are you surprised about things like that? It's like you also want to check if like my skin color like fades or something. It's, it's so weird. It's so weird. Oh, a positive thing though. The surprise surprises me in Japan until now. It's the cleanness. They are so clean. The street. Not the per, not the people, not the person. Like not hygiene, personal hygiene, but this, their street. They're so clean. I've been like in many countries in the world, but yeah, yeah, when it generally. comes to street clean, I, I place Japan and Singapore. It's just clean. What of time? Course, depends on the times you're old. Because... Depends on the time and depends on the street. Like yeah. if you go Shinjuku, Shibuya, no, it's like that's very that's hard. Yeah. But like uh, like Hazabu and yeah, stuff Hazabu, like that. Yeah, Hazabu, Japan. Yeah, those exactly. places rich people. It, I'm actually surprised that how rich people are in Japan. Like when I mean rich, they're like they have a lot of money. Oh, they have a lot of they have shit of money. Yes, and when when I said I, you know, I'm surprised. Like you walk with normal people, and I see this guy. Oh, let's go to Gucci. I'm like, sure. Go to do what exactly? Because I can't afford Gucci. Yeah. I'm not a big content creator yeah, that gets sure. lots of money yet. yet. Soon, very soon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm surprised at like how. It's, it's weird, like people that really into brands too. Oh, yeah, yeah they're true. really into brands. And then they're not, so it's like, hmm. What? They're into brand. That's how I make difference between Chinese and Japanese. Mm. Japanese have like a high brand, they show off and all. Yeah. But Chinese people, they will have the same brand, maybe it will be fake, sorry. Yeah. Maybe it will be fake, but you recognize, oh, that's a Japanese. Mmm, ma, ma, ma. Sorry, it's whoa. It's very nice. Mm. <laughs> Super I still think um, I'm surprised at the English level of the country for someone that wants to be a superpower in the world. I, I thought That's a hard one. I thought, I thought the English should progress a bit more, especially with the fact that they had the Olympics. It's okay, but I think it can be much better. I hear Korea is really good with, in terms of English. Yeah. Um, like, I'm surprised 
that Japan has gone so far forward in terms of electronic payments, different type of payments. Mm. When I just came to Japan, you had to have cash going everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere, no? Yeah. They take the sweet card, they take exactly. the IC cards, they take the Visa wireless yeah. tab. Yo, Japan, thank you for doing that because I don't like walking with cash. <laughs> and walking with cash because I was a banker in Jamaica, so we didn't walk with cash, we walked with debit cards. Yeah, in Japan? Nice. Yeah, but it's not, it's, it's not uncommon to someone to have like 500,000 yen on the person. Japanese people with a little parcel bag looking thing. Mm. These guys have millions of yen in there. It's, it's like nothing. Yeah. Because I have to walk with the cash. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's not as cash based as it was, which is kind of good. True. So thank you Japan for you, moving Japan. forward with that. Oh, can we just talk about the Japanese toilet? We need to give them credit. Oh yeah. For that. Japanese public toilets, I'm surprised in 2021 that they have like, first, very clean. They're Generally. big. They're as big as they're bigger than our apartments. I don't know why they put all the space in toilets. <laughs> Japanese toilets. They're bigger. Public <laughs> toilets. They're bigger than apartments in Tokyo. That's it's true. Horrible. That, yeah, that is probably true. Hmm. Yeah, the toilets and are bigger. And they're so clean. General. Yeah, yeah. yeah and real. they're electronic. Like the Toto toilet. Usually people think mm. Toto toilet like with the bidet and uh, mm. automatic cleaning. People also Japan sometimes they think it's very fancy. It's mm. like rich people think. That's no, normal. it's a public yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah, normal, yeah. yeah, I think that's very nice. Bidets are a thing in Japan. So yeah. for Jamaicans, it's really nice. We don't do. Man, no one not go them touch them bottom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> around them building. No, 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 we don't want that. But be there, be there, low key. You need it still. Isn't it? Keep it really yeah. clean. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I really miss it when I go out to Japan. Shout out to the toilets. <laughs> and shout out, yeah, and the heated toilets too, yo. Yeah. In winter, oh my God, when you sit on it and it's warm, you're like, ah, <gasps> Jia <gasps> will be waiting for us. <laughs> no, I really, I really give them flowers for that. Like shout out to Japan. Give them flowers. So surpri- yeah. What? Very are, nice. What's surprising though? I realized um that. Japan is very still surprising me. The Japan is kind of slow to integrate some other things like, um, like Uber Eats is here now, but, but not every area has yeah, it. Yeah. You know, but it's 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 coming now. It's in my area, and I thought it was in Naka. I get my Korean chicken. Chill. Let me tell you, Korean yum 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 chicken. Let me tell you, Korean food is top tier, right after Jamaican food. Mm-hmm. That's mm. it. That's the tweet. That's mm. it. That's it. That's, there's something else. There's Jamaican is top two and it's not two. Mm. Jamaican food, yeah. Ask anybody, ask about us in the streets, okay? Anywhere you go, people talk about Jamaican food, they say it's straight fire. Mm. Anywhere except Africa, because I don't think we have Jamaican food in Africa. Cause oh, Caribbean food is everywhere, what are you talking about? Really? Yeah. 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 Jack chicken. Yeah. You're it's, too like, it's, like, it's like exotic restaurants, so it's yeah. quite expensive. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Big up, we need to open a restaurant. <laughs> Okay, last thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about something that is uh, very bothering me and I want to make a whole video about it as well, is sexual harassment in Japan. I was going to talk about that too. Yeah, we right, have okay. to talk about Together. that. Together. We have to Quickly. talk about that and we have to, to, to talk about that with Japanese people. Yes, we should. It's, so it's it, Invite very, me when you have it and I'll be there. I'm, I'm very hurt, it's very sad, I look at it on like social media. What Japanese women are very harassed in trains and public places and they don't react, they don't fight back. And that I is mean, where sorry, sorry continue, that is where the gaman thing comes into. They they keep it in and they don't say anything because it's a thing to do. It's frustrating. If someone touches you and you don't want to be touched, you need to talk about it. You must talk about it. And that is why in Japan you have Women only cars with Russia. Yes, I recorded it. I'll send you the video as well. It's like a women only car from at certain time. From seven to nine, yeah, and, and like in going home, yeah. Exactly. Because it's, why would you need a? If your country is so safe for women, why would you need a woman only car? Exactly. It's the safest country, but sexual harassment is very high, and it's it's very. I mean, I, I don't condemn women because when things like that happen to us, sometimes you don't know how, how to, to react, react at the moment. Yeah. You're like, what is happening? Mm. But then it's in a public place, on a train, other people are there, there. and they take time to record and they don't mm. react. I was like, how? It is, it is a thing too. Even in, in America or Jamaica, we were, oh, look at this. Oh, he's dying. Everybody gets on the camera. It's this generation. Oh, mm. oh, he's, oh, he's bleeding, but he's not dead yet. Okay, okay. Let me upload this on YouTube. Mm. Let me upload this on Instagram. Oh, we're supposed to That's help true. him. Oh no no, it's okay. I got my. I want likes. I want clout. This is social media clout is a disease. There is that too. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah I mean the trains. It, a lot, I don't. Talk, I can't talk about the workplace. But I've seen like the train actually. Yeah. I've seen stuff on trains. I'm like, mm. and then as a foreigner, what do you do? Because they will look at you and say, why are you interfering? Oh, they try. Oh, they try. 
Some yeah. Japanese men, like, I don't know if they're drunk when they do that, like yeah. they try because they are very fascinated by boobs apparently. So they try like to, when it's crowded, yeah. you know that someone is trying to touch you, really? and, uh, yeah, he's trying to touch, but he's like, what the, what the fuck, I'm gonna shake your ass. But when you see, you see Japanese women, they don't react. You, you want to shake his ass? I want to beat his ass, I don't care. Oh, beat, I was like, shake his ass, yeah. I was like, I was like, ah, this. okay, shake him, his ass yeah, like shake, this yeah. person. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. You know, I was like, wait, how even dare you? He's like, even, I'm like, I'm looking at the hand and I'm looking at him like, yeah, continue, go ahead. Oh, bitch, what the fuck is that? And it, what, you have that like already instinctively yeah. and you, you already think, oh, people around me are gonna help or somehow, right? they're not no, gonna they're let not, you do. Really in help. Japan, they're just gonna be looking You're like that. Your own business. It's your business. It's mind blowing to me in 2021.